uh, you know, being there, but it's also a great way to start networking, right? To to build your network, to meet people, talk face to face. And I think that's a big barrier for a lot of students. It's, you know, kind of starting to introduce yourself, you know, starting to network with people. Maybe, maybe you have some final tips, you know, for, for, for those that are attending on, on like, how do you optimize the networking <laughs> when you're there? Yeah. Yes, it's very important when you have the opportunity to talk with. Everyone, and welcome back to the Sporting Global Podcast. I'm actually joined here again with Diogo Neto. And Diogo, first of all, thanks, thanks for taking the time. How's, how's everything going these days? Hi, Ole. Nice to talk to you again. Thank you for this opportunity. It's okay. I'm here in Brazil, in the south of Brazil at the moment. Nice. And it's a pleasure for me to talk to you. Well, it's a pleasure having you part of it again. And, and today, obviously, we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, an upcoming event that you're that you're running and a lot of cool things that are happening in that. And we're going to go a little bit more in detail what's happening, what kind of event it is, uh, what people can experience and the best way, obviously, to attend it. But for those that haven't, you know, heard a little bit from you before or know who you are, maybe if you could give us like just just a brief introduction about, you know, uh, your background, what you're doing, uh, a little bit in the sport industry. So people kind of like, you know, get to know you first. Great. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Diogo Neto. I'm from Brazil. I worked I worked for Brazilian Football Confederation during nine years. And in this moment, I'm instructor, common ball instructor for technical courses. And I'm FIFA high performance expert for a program, international program of talent development for FIFA in this moment. And now I'm I'm CEO of a company called DNI Sports. So we are organizing this event. It's an international congress of science on football, futsal, and with soccer too. Will be held will be held in Foz do Iguaçu. Paraná. Paraná is the name of the state. Nice. And Foz Iguaçu, or Iguaçu Falls in English. <laughs> That's awesome. And and thanks thanks for the introduction as well, and just giving a little bit of background on on your side. But but obviously, let, let's just dive straight into the event. Obviously, you know it's it's uh, you know footfalls, and and as you were kind of talking about here. Um, Talk a little bit about like how this event came to life, you know, the, the, the meaning and the purpose behind it. And, and then we'll kind of like go a little bit from there. Yeah, the purpose, the purpose of this event is to connect students and professional workers in different areas. So we all have five different events during three days. Nice. And the, the, uh, main professionals in different clubs will have we have in this moment more than 40 speakers wow. confirmed in this event and we all have more than 20 clubs and the, the main clubs in brazil will be yeah. only uh, in minimum one person representant representative of the club in this event so we'll be uh, excellent opportunity for who want to understand how is the industry of yeah. the football, futsal, and beach soccer in Brazil, right. but in international, uh, international football too. So, who who is the target audience here? Is it mainly the Brazilian market? Like, is it people that are coming from abroad? Like, is it kind of open for everyone? Like, is it in English, Portuguese? Like, what's the yeah. <laughs> what's what's just <laughs> To give a little bit more insights of, of who it's for. Yeah, it will be open for everyone. If you wanna participate participate in this in this congress, it's possible. And in general, it will be Brazilian people. Yeah. Uh, for example, I'm here in this moment in Balneário Camboriú, in south of Brazil, to be partner of uh, of clubs, for example, in Brazil. And so it's a uh, important space to connect with other people right open for everyone and we'll be in portuguese in this moment okay and but it's a uh, it's uh, open for everyone 
That's great. And you say it lasts over three days. Talk a little about like, you know, what people can experience in those three days. Uh, you know, obviously it's, it's, a, it's a lot of time and there's a lot of, you know, things that can happen there. Talk a little about like the program, like uh, at least as much as you can share by now, you know, a little bit of, so people know, okay, what is happening in those three days that, that they are there. Yeah, on Saturday, we'll, in 21, we'll have a human development forum in football, futsal and beach soccer. Nice. It's uh, in general, it's for psychologists, pedagogues, and social assistants, uh, physical coaches. So, people from professionals from different clubs will be in the same place to talk about education uh, and mental health, about families, and specific about the football players. And we'll have other, other events. It's uh, for school, football school managers. We'll talk about marketing, uh, how to talk with the, with the people, with the family. So it's important for who is a coach of football school. Yep. And other if uh, we'll have uh, uh, a manager's meeting from football futsal and beach soccer academies or football school. And we all have uh, other, I have um, a program here, a high performance futsal symposium. We'll have a meeting, a meeting of the main coaches of Brazilian National League. We'll be in the same place to talk about the main futsal league in Brazil. So mm -hmm. we'll have this important uh, symposium about High performance futsal. Right. The other event will be about international symposium of management, health, and performance in football, futsal, and beach soccer. And we'll have an award of social responsibility and sustainability forum mm. uh, with BRICS. BRICS is the union of five countries okay. Brazil, India, India, uh, China and South Africa. So the ambassador will uh, give um, a trophy for the clubs. So it's an important event too. And we'll have the scientific congress yep. and, uh, and a, an exhibition fair okay. with 30 uh, stands of products, sport products too. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, no, I mean, like, obviously, it's a great, great opportunity with a lot of different topics and 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 things to cover, you know, in the in the, in the football, football, futsal, you know, and, and beach soccer space. I'm, I'm sure about that. And I'm sure it's going to be a great event. So from like a student perspective, like if you're a young student, you know, obviously, you know, maybe looking to get a career in the football, futsal, you know, beach soccer industry like first of all like yeah how can they attend this event like what are some tips you have for them to make the most out of the event and and third of all like why are why is it so important for these students young professionals to attend events uh, like this great this is very important why big soccer why futsal and why uh, football these three sports because the idea these three sports responsible is FIFA. FIFA is responsible for these three sports. Yeah. So the idea how to connect people uh, with these three sports and to connect professionals and um, students in different areas. For example, this is an event for students and professionals of different areas, such as medicine, physical mm -hmm. education, pedagogues, psychologists, Odontology, right. odontology, and and uh, physiotherapy and other training courses too. Right. And and for like you know being a, a student, you know participating in this, like, why is it so critical to you know participate at at like these kind of you know career events, events, networking events, and obviously like something like yours, like. Why is it so important for a student to, to be, be present there? Yeah, for example, who participated in this Congress 
will have the opportunity to listen about more than 48 times uh, subjects, speakers mm. uh, about football, futsal, and beach soccer in different areas. For right. example, we'll have um, uh, a conference about odontology in football. So the speakers will be uh, Gustavo from Flamengo, mm. number from Coritiba, and Marcelo right. Asmar from uh, Atlético Mineiro. So they yep. are um, they are important speakers in different right. areas. For example, yeah. other example, Marquinhos Xavier, he is the national uh, coach of the Brazilian national futsal team. Mm. Uh, be one, one speaker. Uh, physiotherapy, for example, we all have Kleber Barbão. He is physiotherapist, more than nine years of Brazilian wow. foot national team. Yeah. And Char Charles, he is physiotherapist of Brazilian national team. Oh, okay. He was Qatar. And so, wow. uh, the best speakers yeah. during three in the same place, in the same city, to talk about football, futsal, and beach soccer. For yeah. different people, since students to uh, professionals, uh, workers, yeah. Well, I mean, golf is a great way to to learn some more knowledge from the people in the industry. You know, directly as you were saying, it's a lot of industry experts. Uh, you know, being there, but it's also a great way to start networking, right? To to build your network, to meet people, talk face to face, and I think that's a big barrier for a lot of students. It's you know, kind of starting to introduce yourself you know starting to network with people maybe, maybe you have some final tips you know for 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 those that are attending on, on like how do you optimize the networking <laughs> when you're there yeah yes yeah, it's very important when you have the opportunity to talk with professionals for professionals of important clubs this can be your opportunity to connect with this person and you can be invite, invited to go to the club during one week or one, one visit or work for this club too. So this kind of event, it's very important to learn about scientific, uh, scientific things yeah. and to connect with new people because imagine uh, we all have more than 40 uh, speakers from uh, the main clubs in Brazil and other parts uh, we invited important speakers from other countries. We are waiting um, if they will confirm or no, or yeah. not. But this can be uh, an excellent opportunity. I imagine when I was a student, and for me, if I could have this opportunity, maybe sometime, some years ago, this <laughs> could be better for me during my career in football. Absolutely. Well, it's always important to take take advantage of the opportunities that are there, you know, and of course, when you first attend that you make the most out of it, you know, start networking with people, uh, reading yeah. up on the clubs, you know, be prepared, look up on the topics that you have in the days that, uh, that are there. And of course, uh, you know, kind of like as a, as a last final thing here. When is the event happening, uh, and and just like you know, how how is the best way for people to sign up and and join the event? Yeah, we have uh, an official website. It's uh, footfoz.com, f u t f o z dot com. So right. you will find all information in this website. The event will be held in Foz Iguaçu, in Paraná. It's an important city because it's one of the seven wonder nature uh, places to visit. Wow. Second, for example, is a very important important city yeah. here in Brazil. So it's, it could be, uh, this can be uh, an opportunity to visit a tourist city, uh, to visit Brazil, to connect with important main workers, professionals in different areas of the Brazilian and other international clubs too. Absolutely. I, I, I wish I could be there for sure, but we're obviously a proud uh, partner of the event. And of course, uh, you know, Diogo, thanks, thanks for taking the time and for sharing, you know, more about the event, more about, you know, what people can experience. And of course, you know, 
this is something right up your alley. And I think it is a lot of you, you know, you want to work with football, you know, futsal, want to work close with FIFA, beat soccer as well. A lot of cool things moving there, you know, check out the events, check out the website. We'll put it in the link as well and make sure to connect with Diogo on sportingglobal.com. And with that, you know, Diogo, thanks. Thanks once again for taking the time. Thank you, Ole. And remember, uh, Sporting Global, it's an official partner of this important event. So it's a pleasure for us to have um, your logo, your brand in our Congress. So if you want to uh, participate of this event, you can go to the website and you can sign in this website to participate of this event. Other important uh, thing, Ole, is uh, UNESCO will be participant uh, participant of this event. Wow. Some people from from FIFA. Uh, we, I'm I'm waiting, for example, for Comebol. But it's important uh, event. So if you want to work with oh, futsal and with soccer, if you have a dream to connect with important people, former players, for example, this is your opportunity. In Brazil, you during 1 to 23 January in Foz do Iguaçu, Paraná, will be held in Rafaim Palace, Palace Hotel and Convention is the name of the place. Wow. Yeah, that sounds amazing. You know, make sure to check it out, sign up as well, join it, you know, and think you're going to have a great experience. And it's a good way to kick off 2023, you know, a new year, new opportunities, and just kickstart your career in the sport industry. So I, as you know, Diogo, we're uh, you, you know our tradition in the Sporting Global podcast, and that's just to wrap up with a little bit of Norwegian. As always, we have to finish up with Visnakes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, thank you again, once again, Ole, for this opportunity. For us, it's a pleasure to have, uh, have you together with us in this, in this dream because uh, this is my second event I'm organizing. The first one was a forum with bricks about yeah. sports managing managers. And this is a second event. And now we are together in this. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's always a pleasure working with you, Diogo. And, you know, for everyone out there as well, you know, make sure to check out the event, make sure to like and subscribe the video as well, you know, so you get weekly tips and insight. And of course, if you haven't, you know, make sure to sign up at sportingglobal.com for free to connect with people like Diogo, know more about the upcoming events, things that are happening in the industry from our partners, uh, you know, a lot of cool job opportunities, programs that you can join. And of course, check out the Sporting Global Academy for digital courses, you know, that you can learn inside knowledge as well, straight from your home. But it's always good, you know, to go out meet people you know be at the events it's part of the journey as well so make sure to check the event from diogo and as always you know again diogo we gotta we gotta finish up with a little bit norwegian yeah you gotta do it with me you know as well so you remember the visnakes which means see you later in norwegian so that's what you have to say <laughs> i can remember but <laughs> I do thank you for this opportunity it's a pleasure for us all right thank you so much diogo thank you Bye-bye.